Our first guest tonight is a very congenial bird boxing Oscar winner with a new movie that'll grab you by the heart and squeeze it. The Unforgivable opens in select theaters Wednesday and premieres on Netflix December 10th. Please say hello to Sandra Bullock. <laughs> You look great. You look fantastic. I look like Prince. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. Yeah, you got a little yeah, bit of princiness okay. going to you. Going. Yeah. yeah. How many movies have you done? Do you know? I don't know. Do you count? I have no you idea. Count. No idea. I don't either. I did not check. I should have checked, but you have. I didn't. When you were going to ask that question, you go, maybe I should like check it so I look smart. And yes. you chose not to do that. It just popped into my head. Yeah, yeah. Which one do people mention most to you? Uh, I think I th it's probably Miss Miss Congeniality. Miss Congeniality. <laughs> That is one. And do you have like an idea of why that in particular is the one that they mentioned the most? I think because we made it for young girls. Uh -huh. And so then those young girls started doing all those sing-songy things that annoyed the parents. Uh -huh. <laughs> so the parents had a grudge and they would bring up my daughter does it. And so the, the girls then grew up and they remembered that. And then I had a daughter and now I understand why the parents got angry. I see. Yeah. Is your daughter, has she seen the yes, film? Yes, she has. Yes, oh, she has? Yes, she and she has. does the thing. Do your kids watch your stuff? She does. Louis does not. I see. I, I yeah, I, I am not his cup of tea. He's older, yeah. He's, well, he's 11 and he has really good taste. <laughs> Who does he like? What does he like? He likes um, Japanese anime. He's obsessed with Spider-Man. Oh, yeah. The whole thing. My All son, too. All the fan, the whole YouTube fan fave, like what's going on? What is like, what are the conspiracy? Like what are the, yeah. it's, it's off the chain. It's ridiculous. Did you know there was a big rumor that you were going to be in the third Spider-Man movie? I, I, you know what? If that were a, a, a rumor that my son had heard, do you know how much I would get him to do in the house? <laughs> I would, he would, I would be, so successful in my request. <laughs> like three Santas if, combined. If I was like, who did they say I was going to be? Like his grandmother or something? Uh, no, no, no. Um, there's uh, Madam Webb is the name of Madam the Webb. Madam Webb was a, uh, a, a character, not a main character. <laughs> Madam Webb, I think, was paralyzed um, in some way and okay. had psychic powers this and is would amazing. advise Spider-Man on his future. So what, why was I not? hired for this. I'm just, what happened well, to the Well, the reason we decided way? to go in a different direction. Yeah, no, well, I, I, I don't know. Because I think I would be amazing with like the psychicness of Now things. I'm thinking maybe you're being coy and you are in the Spider-Man movie. I am not. Because you've come up with this backstory about your how son. About this, how about we just perpetuate that? You get it onto YouTube. My son, Louis, will see it. And then all of a sudden, the look in his eye will shift. They'll be like, Mommy, do you need any help? I was like, can you pick up your clothes off your floor? <laughs> yes, I can, Mom. But there... wouldn't that be offset by the disappointment when he sees the movie I and could you say are... I was cut out. Take it up with Marvel. <laughs> right? Right? OK. Has Marvel approached you about being in one of their movies? I don't think I'm Marvel material. I disagree. I, I can't don't. imagine that that's I true. Do. So that's a no or a yes? I've or a... never been approached by Marvel. Never? Never. You're making me feel like I have, and I'm not saying anything. <laughs> but see, I never know, because every single time people come out, and yes. then they lie to me, and then I find I... out, oh, yeah, you're this you're... hero I, or whatever. I, I understand why people lie to you, yeah. but <laughs> I have never been approached, <laughs> ever. You've not been approached? I've never been approached, Ev ever. Wow. No, I've never, ever been approached for any. Not true. I was an approach for something that wasn't Marvel, but my son said not to do it. Oh, he did? Was it a DC uh, no. universe? Oh, it was no. something else. It was kind of, you know, not in the place that Louis felt I should be. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you, and that's smart. You've reached a point where And you... he was actually right. I saw it when it came out and I went, ooh, that's, that's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, it came out and everything. Oh, it came out and everything and I, I you know. Oh. Again, my, he was like six when he asked me not to do it. And I said, okay, okay yeah. So we know it was the last like four or five years or so then. I, for, I forget their ages often, so it could have been four, it uh -huh. could have been seven or eight, 
or like the internet just will figure it out for sure. The internets will. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. You know Jennifer Coolidge. Uh, yes. Who, did yes. you watch White Lotus uh, HBO I did, show? Yeah, I did. She's so great. Uh, she's mm -hmm. coming on in a few weeks, and I'm kind of interested in in Our the connection. story because she says you guys worked together at a restaurant in New we York. We did. Canastelle's in New York, um, 19th and Park. Um, I started in the coat check world uh, during uh, the, <laughs> the winter holidays, and it's where you take a lot of fur coats, you get a lot of tips. Um, I then was moved to hostessing, which I failed at because I didn't know the hierarchy of the names and who to seat and who not to seat and who to oh. make wait in the cocktail lounge. You say, can you go have a cocktail? And you make them wait for a couple of hours, and then you seat them when <laughs> all the special people are gone. Um, <laughs> Then they moved me to the cocktail area where I killed it. I, I was amazing. You were a good cocktail. I was amazing. Were but you I could a bartender? See, or? No, no, they wouldn't let me behind the bar. But oh. they let me serve people alcohol um, in the cocktail area because I was, I think I was very good at it. Oh, wow. How yeah. much would you make in a night? Do you remember? I never made more than like, at the, oh my gosh, I just remember the story. Um, told, like I made like $500 a night, one night because Peter Gabriel's drummer, we were told, was coming in to celebrate his birthday. Long story short, wasn't his drummer, nor was it his credit card. <laughs> but I'd gotten a nice tip, and so the owner wanted me to give my tip back. And he said, it's the only, I was like, I, I live hand to mouth. I'm not giving my tip back. So I, I walked out and quit. Wow, so yeah. a guy stole a credit card. And then tip like crazy. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Peter Gabriel's drummer was... What about Jennifer? Do you remember working I do, I with I think her? we passed, like, ships in the night. And I it, see. I think she might have come onto the hostessing stand and done a really good job as I was walking out and quitting on the principle of the stolen credit card. <laughs> <laughs> they were going to take it from a waitress who was li living hand to mouth and, you know. Oh, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to see a clip from your new movie. And I have a couple other things I, I want to go through now okay. that we know that you're, um, okay. you're not in a Marvel movie, okay. I think. I'm I not. Sandra Bullock is here. Her movie is The Unforgivable. Right I'm getting information you got yourself a lawyer. What you think that's going to be, huh? It's none of your business. It's none of my business. No. You trying to contact your sister? It's my right. No, you lost those rights 20 years it's ago. It's my family. Blood doesn't make you family, Ruth. Get that out your head. It's a reason why your sister hasn't contacted you. You're a convict. All she knows of you is as a killer. She's probably scared of you. Let that girl live her life. That is Sandra Bullock in The Unforgivable. Uh, this is, um... It's one of those movies that just like you, you're just your heart is like hurting through the whole yeah. thing because yeah. it's about this woman who, uh, well, I'm telling you like you don't know, but uh, it's about this woman, uh, played by Sandra, who was in prison. She's not for, in the Marvel movie. Not in the Marvel movie, <laughs> for 20 years for murdering a police, police officer, mm -hmm. and um, I'm not sure what more I can say without ruining. It, uh, well, I. I'm obsessed, sort of. I, I love Dateline ID, like all the murders. I fall asleep. Oh, you do? To like, oh, yes. But there has to be, they have to be caught. It can't be a cold case that's been unsolved. I have to know that the <laughs> husband or the wife did it, because it's always, right? Like, the person you're going to kill is going to be your spouse. Duh. Uh. Um, but I love a, a great sort of thrill where you're trying to put the puzzle pieces together. Why would she do something like this and be unapologetic for it? And then when you see what happened through her eyes, and you see this woman who doesn't seem to want to apologize or doesn't need forgiveness. It just keeps, make, it just keeps you sabotaging yourself all the time. And you see why. You understand how millions upon millions of Americans live every single day who don't have the benefits of funding or help or support or finances and just are born into the system of poverty, you know? And coming out of prison and getting a job which is nearly is impossible. Very for difficult who's a convict. to yeah. start with. Yeah. And your character gets a job uh, as a carpenter, mm -hmm. and also uh, in a fish processing yeah. plant. Yes. yes. Salmon. Salmon processing, yes. and you got these sharp knives, and you're really oh. so you gutting these salmon. I, I, and... Yeah, I, I went after it. Felt good. <laughs> Did it feel good? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's like I've watched enough of the Dateline IDs that I know how to <laughs> sever the head <laughs> and get through the spine with just an extra little bit of effort. But it's the momentum of the first cut that's very important. <laughs> So the second one is just sort of a follow-up, and you just crack right through that spine. I did notice in the movie, you go at it your first time, yes. and they're teaching you what to do. You, you chopped almost the whole head off in yeah, the first shot. That was the point. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I said to my wife, we're watching, I go, that doesn't look so bad. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I want it to be quick and painless. 
Like, yeah. I don't want a, someone or something, like a fish, to suffer. You just want well, to get Well, the fish in were dead already, yeah, right? Yeah, but it was sort yeah. of, I was trying to telegraph that she did what she did, and she had no problem with it. So I the see. fish was sort of another way to go see. Oh, see? that's something that I see? missed. Yeah. See? Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. but now, now, totally get it, and they will well, get it as well. Yeah, we hope. Are you cooking for Thanksgiving? I am not. You do not cook. I am not going to cook anything this Thanksgiving at all, I'm going to sit and let other people do it. I have a little something for us. Now, I thought you might be interested in this. Do you like candy corn? I, I, love, I love candy corn, but that's you not do. the flavor I'm familiar this with. This is uh, Brock's Turkey Dinner Candy Corn. Okay. It has a bunch of different flavors. Okay. Green beans, roasted mm. turkey, cranberry sauce, okay. ginger glazed carrot, Ooh, that's gonna uh, be sweet potato pie, and stuffing. I want to try the stuffing. What do you want to try? All right, stuffing. Let's see. Which one is the stuffing? They, some of them look like teeth well, that have been pulled out of it. Well, the green is obviously the green beans. And okay, the stuffing. The cranberry Here's stuffing is... right there. Okay. All right. Go ahead and I'll That's try That's an unfortunate well. yellow. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is a stuffing. It's like that aftertaste that comes through your nose. Are you kind of getting that? <laughs> it tastes like. What um, is that spice? It tastes like the car that picks you up when you visit Mexico. <laughs> I've not tasted that car. <laughs> but that's, that has an interesting kind of... Um... Let's see, green okay. beans. That's, that's, yeah. that's a healthy treat. That's, well, this All is right. what... Can you imagine handing this to your kids? Eat your greens. <laughs> yeah. Imagine. I'm going to give it to them when we get home. This one tastes... Oh, my gosh. You, you let it linger long enough? It's better than the stuffing. <laughs> It's not great. It, it, it comes back in through the nose again. Oh, here's one. Cranberry. All right, let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. That's kind of... It tastes nothing like cranberry, that's, but... That's great, but that's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it tastes like bubble gum. A little bit. And, little like, bit. maybe we shouldn't be swallowing it kind of thing. But we just did. But we just did. All right, finally, turkey. There's some turkey. <laughs> <laughs> But here's is... the thing. Look at this color. Can you guys see that? Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, when Billy was a baby or Jane and they had their yeah. first... By the way, you're, you're not going to like this one. <laughs> 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 oh, but the turkey just hit at the end. No, my turkey hit at the beginning. No, you did. <laughs> it does have a little bit of turkiness oh to God, it. Oh, my God, that is so bad. Well, you can take these home to the kids. Yeah. One other thing I want to mention yes. to you, if you don't mind. Wait, can I have just, can I just help that? You may not. No, it's, it will ruin the flavor of the snacks. Um, Bill Burr, our oh, yes, guest, Bill. who will be out here in just a moment. One of the funniest guys there is. He really is. You did a movie with him. I did do a movie. I did The Heat with Bill. The Heat. And after you did that movie, yes. his wife posted think, this. Didn't on it happen? It happened during the movie. On her Instagram. Yep. Uh, during the movie. Oh, you guys saw this at the time. Love Bitten Sandra laughing again, thanks to her hunky again. co star. <laughs> and look at who the hunky co star is. Bill Burr. Bill. They're constantly joking and cutting Cut, up together. They're constantly joking and cutting up together. I'm like, who says cutting up? The guys, whoever writes the Inquirer, I guess. I mean, but look at me, I'm got, I've got that. <laughs> yeah, you're, well, you can see you're absolutely tr Just uh, smitten. Right, and do you think of Bill as hunky? Oh, I'm right there. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right. I want to just put a little wind in his sails when he came out here. All right. <laughs> well, it's great to see you. Nice Happy to see Thanksgiving. You. Happy Thanks Thanksgiving. for being here. The movie is called The Unforgivable. It opens in Select Theaters Wednesday and premieres on Netflix December 10th. Sandra Bullock, everybody. We're back with Bill Burr. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hit subscribe and all your dreams will come true, assuming your dreams are to watch more YouTube videos.